teacher, mother, poet, actress, dancer, leader. Those are just some of the words used to describe Dr. Maya Angelou. Yeah, she was definitely a little bit of everything. Some people really, really looked up to her. They admired her. And here to talk about four things that we can take away from her very inspirational life and how we can put them to use in our lives is life coach Vanessa Horn. Hey, we know it when we see it, don't we? That woman who embodies those qualities that yes. say, I'll have what she's having. Yes. And no doubt about it, Dr. Maya Angelou embodied those things. A woman who walks in a room like that and turns heads, you know what she would have said? She says, pursue those things that you love and then do them so well mm -hmm. that it has, that you can't help but have other people, they can't take their eyes off of you. <laughs> And she was smart. That's right. And so, Vanessa, I understand that she's inspired you to do something. You've written a book. Absolutely. And I, I've worked with women, 7,000 women over the last nine years. And I see so many of these qualities that women want and they look in others. And we can look at someone like Dr. Maya Angelou as inspiration for that. So I look at what was it that she had. So W, worthiness. She was a woman who was grounded in her worthiness. Mm -hmm. Unlike so many other people, when they are interviewed at the end of their life, they say, I wish I'd had the courage to have lived a life true to myself instead of the life everybody else Your wanted me to live. But she didn't. She lived that was true to herself. She said a woman who is connected to her spirit, she is like a flowing river, and she goes where she will without pretense and arrives at her destination prepared to be herself and no one but herself. H stands for honor, honor your voice. Yesterday, one of the headlines on in honor of her said, today, Angelo's voice is silent. Mm. Nothing could be further from the truth. I agree. That's right. <laughs> Look at all these, these writings that she's, they will continue even though she's not around. Mm -hmm. And she's, and at the age of seven and a half, she deduced that it was her voice precisely that was the cause of somebody else's death. So for six years, she remained silent. Mm. But it was during those six years that she got in touch with the poetry inside of her that was longing to be expressed. And she would encourage all of us to say our stories and to share them with the world because she says there is nothing more at, that's more agony than bearing an untold story inside mm. of you. Mm -hmm. So something else was born out of that silence. Absolutely. A advocate. She was such an advocate for truth and forgiveness. Yes, both very important. And thrive. She said, my mission in life is not to merely survive, but to thrive and to do so with passion, compassion, some humor, and some style. Now that's the kind of woman that has me say, hey, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's, who, that's the title of your book, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. There are so many things that we can take away from her life because she lived her life for herself, but she lived her life to better others as well. She said the women of the world are her daughters and she lived to inspire them to thrive in their lives. Because she only had, she had the one son, but he said, you know, she taught him the greatest thing of all was love open-hearted living and if we could only do that and push in inspiration from the woman that she was embodying that mm -hmm. and Vanessa before we go for young women are these things that you should be trying to embody in your daily life doing every day in some way it's a practice mm -hmm. it is absolutely a practice there's so many of these things that were said dare to be yourself and it's not holding back to mm -hmm. actually practice okay well where do I feel is my edge and to push beyond that and she embodied that and she was such an inspiration for that mm -hmm. awesome so, real quick W is worthiness Word. honor your voice advocate, advocate and, and thrive. thrive all right there definitely I'll have what she's having 